Grade 5 Math Number 34, Subtract Decimals. When we subtract decimals, the most important thing to remember is to keep our decimal points lined up straight and perfect. Just as we subtract whole numbers, we would never mix up the place values. We keep them straight. If we had 217 and we wanted to subtract 5, we wouldn't put it in the tens place. 5 goes in the ones place. Same thing with decimals. When we subtract decimals, we do it exactly as we subtract whole numbers. We start from the far right place value, but we line our decimal points up. We would never take five tenths away from seven hundredths. The five tenths would have to go into the tenths place. See? We would borrow or regroup as needed starting on the far right side. If we had 4 and 54 hundredths minus 1 and 98 hundredths, we could borrow, just as if it was a whole number. 4 take away 8, we can't do it, so we borrowed from the 5, it became a 4, and we gave 1 to the 4, so it became 14. 14 take away 8 is 6. Now that's a 4. 4 take away 9, we can't do it, so we borrowed from the whole number. It became a 3, we gave a 1 to the tenths place, to the 4, and now we have 14 take away 9, which is 5, and 3 take away 1, which is 2. We keep our decimals nice and pretty and perfect, and our answer is 2 and 56 one hundredths. So it's no different than whole numbers. All you're remembering is to keep your decimals pretty, okay? Keep them perfect. Now remembering that zeros have no value and are just placeholders. We can put zeros into the numbers to hold an empty place value. We put them on the right side of the decimal to help. So if we had 4 and 7 tenths and had to take away 2 and 18 hundredths, we could put a zero on the far right side so that we could do our subtraction. We can't have 8 from 0, so we borrowed from the tenths place. It became a 6. We gave the 1 to the hundredths place. And now we have 10 take away 8, which is 2. 6 take away 1 is 5. Our decimals are all straight and perfect, and 4 take away 2 is 2, and our answer is 2 and 52 hundredths. See? Just add the 0. Keeping it straight and perfect, all of our columns will be able to add, will be able to subtract perfectly. See? 5 take away 3 is 2, 4 take away 2 is 2, 2 take away 2 is 0, straight, perfect, pretty decimals, 3 take away 1 is 2, and we've got our answer, 2 and 22 thousandths. If we're missing a zero from the second number, we can put it in, or we can just ignore it and just drop the 7 down, see? So it doesn't matter if we put it in or not. You can put it in if you want it to help you. 7 take away none is 7. 5 take away 3 is 2. We've got our straight and perfect decimal points, so we know we're doing the right place values. And we drop the 4 down, and we have 4 and 27 hundredths. So we just added the 0 there when we needed it. If we have just a whole number like 3, and we want to take away 2 and 15 hundredths, we can actually add the decimal point and the zeros. That way we can borrow. We can't have 0 and take 5 away, so we borrowed from the 3. It became a 2. The tenths place became a 9, and we gave a 1 to the hundredths place. 10 take away 5 is 5, 9 take away 1 is 8, and 2 take away 2 is none, so we just have 85 hundredths. See? We actually added the decimal point and the, and the zeros. We can actually solve for n. If it's written in sentence form, we can rewrite it as stacked, and it'll help us solve it. We can add the zero here if we want to. Or we could just drop the 7 down, it's the same thing. 3 take away 1 is 2, 6 take away 2 is 4. We have our decimals all lined up pretty and perfect. And our answer is 4 and 27 hundredths. n equals 4 and 27 hundredths. If the first number is n, all we have to do is the inverse, don't we? If we're doing subtraction, the inverse is adding. We can stack them and add this number to the difference and we get 6 and 78 hundredths, so n is 6 and 78 hundredths. See?
just add those two together and keep our decimal points all pretty and perfectly straight. If n is here and it's missing, we could subtract the difference from this number and we would be able to get our answer, wouldn't we? So we have 12 and 35 hundredths take away the difference of 7 and 13 hundredths. We would get 5 and 22 hundredths and that would be n. That would be n right there. So whether you, when you're subtracting decimals, just remember to always keep your decimal points pretty and perfect and straight. You can add zeros to the ends of the numbers or even a decimal point if you have to to help you subtract. And if you're solving for n, you can stack them if it's written in a sentence form. And you can do the inverse operation or subtract the difference to help you find n, right? And you can borrow and regroup no different than if it were a whole number, okay? Just keep those decimal points pretty and perfect and straight, okay? See you next video. Bye.